Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Monday, already April 10th. Woo, what a week we had from Wednesday, the Risen movie to Good Friday service, nine people receiving the Lord, to the two services on Sunday. I didn't even get the count yet, but it had to be at least 10 more people. So to God be the glory, great things he's doing. Listen, one sows, one reaps. And, and God gives the harvest. Amen. All right, let's get right into this. Our Bible reading is the second half of, uh, of Luke uh, chapter 12. And of course, my scripture that jumps out is verse 56. Hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and the earth, but how is it that you do not discern the times? And boy, we are living at interesting times. We're praying for the Middle East today, restricted area. So it's a number, uh, the 52 area. We thank the Lord for all he has done, says the team in this restricted nation. Pray for the people we meet that they will know the way and the truth. And pray that God would send us laborers that love him and want to serve with all their heart. And please pray for God to protect us as we serve here. God bless these people that serve in areas like that. Our state that we're praying for is Utah, number 10 on your map, population 3.2%, only 8, 7% evangelical Christians. And then we're praying for justice, amen. Well, boy, we can use that in America, huh? Let's pray. Lord, again, we bless you and honor you and exalt you on this new day. Already a third of the month of April is gone. Man, time is flying. Why is that? Because we're looking up. We're living in warp speed days because scripture is being fulfilled. You said, except the days be shortened, even the very elect wouldn't be saved. So because of us, you love us so much that you shorten time that we can be with you sooner, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We lift up this Middle East and this restricted nation, Lord. We don't know what it is for their protection, but we pray over it. We pray for protection. We pray for the way and the truth to go forth. We pray for laborers to rise up and go into these areas that have never heard the gospel before. And we thank you for that. We thank you for what you have done already in this area and what you're going to complete in Jesus' name. We lift up the state of Utah before you, and we pray for this area. We know what goes on there, Lord, and we pray, Father, for the word of God to go forth. These people that are so close, the light is so close, and we pray that they would open their hearts completely to the gospel message. We lift up in our nation for justice, Lord. Father, that these political uh, things coming against each other can be stopped. That judges, Father, justice is supposed to have a blindfold. That judges would listen to the cases and do it, not because of their friends or who gave them money or who put them in that position, but because of what our nation stands for, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, on and on. And we thank you for that. We lift up the United States of America. We pray for our nation, Lord. Lord, we need help. We need it bad. We pray for America. We pray for justice in America. We pray for the executive, legislative, and judicial branch of our nation. We pray for the president all the way down to local mayors of little cities, Lord. We pray for our board of education also, Lord. Oh, my. We lift up our world before you. We start by praying for Israel as we see them having meetings, because they know something is just about ready to pop. We see that Benjamin then Yahoo met with the minority leader. Lord, they say it's unheard of unless something big is about to happen. We see that the uh, that America has already sent the, the big ship, uh, Bush and the big ship, Washington, George Washington, uh, battleships out there, nuclear-powered, nuclear Bombs on these ships are being sent out that way. Lord, we pray over Taiwan, Lord, and uh, China says they have it totally surrounded in this exercise that they're doing. 
Oh man, so many I ran and all are smelling the weakness in our nation, Lord. Lord, we pray over the situation. Lord, you said when everybody deserts Israel, you'll not desert Israel. So we pray over that. We pray for Ukraine, Russia, and all these other nations and all this stuff that's going on. We are living in very unique times, but you have called us for such a time as this. So we thank you for the strength. We pray over the new prayer cards that have come in on Easter Sunday, Lord. Prayer was a little different, but still many cards still came in. People know what to do in our church because we are a praying church, a going church, and a life-changing church. A threefold cord is not easily broken. That's the vision you gave me when we first started this church and that our vision has stayed the same, Lord. And I thank you that we want to be faithful to you. So we lift up the prayer requests that have come in, the prayer needs of brothers and sisters. I pray for those that join with me each day and thank so many of them that come up to me and say, see you in the morning. I pray with you in the morning. I can't be with you in the morning, but I'm with you later in the day. Oh, it, it just blesses my heart. We've been doing this for two years. It blesses my heart to know that others have taken this serious and they're praying. So I pray for them. I pray for these blessed people. I pray as they prayed in Israel at the Western Wall, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you peace. I pray that peace upon you and your, fa your family. I pray for my brother Joe, whose son just passed away, Joe DeVita, his wife, and I pray for their family during this time of grieving. Oh, Father, as we saw yesterday, the last enemy that will be put under your feet is death, and we are looking forward to it. So we say we are looking up. We are living in warp speed days because Scripture is being fulfilled. You said when you see these things happening, look up. Your redemption draws nigh. Well, boy, are we seeing it happening. So we're looking up. Amen and amen. Hey, it's been a glorious week. Amen. Beautiful week. But you know what? We continue on in our great love and our respect for Jesus Christ, for Abba Father, and for the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us. Amen. Listen, thank you so much for your faithfulness faithfulness with your time to come and pray each day. I pray God blesses you beyond words. Love you dearly. Have a great day. God bless.